Y'all yeah. listen. I'm hungry. Fit check. I ain't, look. Fit check. Fit check. That's my fit check. Y'all, I'm about to go get me something to eat. So I was like, why not bring my family with me to get something to eat? I think I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go McDonald's. Like, I ain't going to even hold you. I don't know. I, I really don't know what I want. I'm on my phone, so I can't see this food option. But I think I'm going to just try McDonald's. You feel me? Because I ain't never had McDonald's in, um, I ain't never had McDonald's in Puerto Rico. All right, y'all, we headed to McDonald's. I ain't got no GPS. So, y'all coming with me. <laughs> <laughs> to figure out where the hell we about to go. I think when you leave out the neighborhood, though, I think McDonald's like right there. I look like a Puerto Rican. <laughs> okay, the beach that way. So that mean I gotta go. Okay, they go to the beach. So that mean I gotta go this way. I ain't got no GPS. So we about to wing this together and try to find us something to eat while we while we out here thugging. Anyway, how was y'all day? Let me know. I can't really look at y'all right now. So y'all just coming with me. How was y'all day? What y'all did today? Oh, okay. Do I go left or right? Do I go left or right? I'm gonna go right. I think I think I know where I'm at though. Like I ain't gonna even hold you. Cause I done been in and out of here so much. I Okay, with the beamer? Yo, hey, listen, here's the whole thing in a nutshell. Whatever you heard about Puerto Rico, it is not true. It's not true. It's not true. Like there was two foreign, three foreign cars that just rolled by, zooming, doing what, doing what they do. Okay, here go the gas station. Doing what they do. People really living in luxury out here. Oh y'all know I'm at. Oh yeah, call me Puerto Rican cuzzo. I know exactly where I'm at. Yes I do. I ain't gonna know how to get home, but she, we gonna wing it. But y'all, for real, stop. Oh yeah, that go Wendy's. Oh yeah, I don't want no Wendy's though. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want no Wendy's. I want McDonald's. Is a McDonald's over here? Oh! Wendy's, KFC, and McDonald's. Which one I want though? Would y'all go, would y'all go Wendy's, KFC, or McDonald's? Drop right now in the comments. Wendy's, KFC, or McDonald's? Which one? Y'all, I ain't, I don't, I ain't even do nothing about hell. I honestly just, she said KLC, Wendy's, KLC, KLC, Wendy's, KLC, Wendy's sides. I don't know, y'all. I really want McDonald's. I really don't know. Wendy's, Wendy's. Have I had Wendy's here? I had one. Oh, okay. I already had Wendy's here. I ain't gonna hold you. Me and Rena had Wendy's when, when she was here last week with me. So I already had Wendy's. I already had Wendy's and I did like Wendy's. McDonald's for safety. I I, I love y'all, but I think we're gonna go with McDonald's because I already had Wendy's. I ain't had KFC yet. I wanna do a video on KFC. I'm still gonna do a video on McDonald's too. But I already had Wendy's. They Wendy Wendy's. Wendy's, they nachos good. But oh damn, I need to see where I'm going. It be so dark, y'all. Oh, I can't turn right there. Oh no. Oh, I was supposed to keep straight. I was supposed to keep straight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we gonna get lost together, baby. Because I was supposed to keep straight. But, my ass. Okay, I'm gonna get off on this stage over here. Hopefully, I can turn around. Yo, like, I sort of got, like, driving in Puerto Rico, it's the same as driving in Houston, Cleveland, Dallas. It's, it's, it's really the same thing, bro. Like, it, they roads. Hold on, I feel like I look like what the fuck I've been through. But they roads here, y'all, it's, it's really the same. It ain't really no difference. Because, of course, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like this this part of the uh, United States. So, um, you know, they bought they bread. So they came over here and Americanized it. So it's really the same thing. It ain't like there's no dirt roads. It's really not like it's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, no difference. So we turned around. I don't know, y'all. I like driving with the window down. Can anybody feel me? I like driving with the window down. But it's really, really like the same thing. I think that's why, like, it's so easy to feel like a relationship with Puerto Rico because was I supposed to turn? I, yeah, we just gonna be lost out here. Well, we're not lost because I see it, but 
it's so easy to to get acquainted you know what i'm saying with puerto rico because it, it just really feel like you driving in houston or 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 wherever you you know what i'm saying oh no i ain't even got to do that i can turn left see they sitting outside eating this shit should we go outside and eat i ain't bring my um they outside eating at mcdonald's y'all think we should sit at mcdonald's and eat should I sit at McDonald's and eat or do I should I bring it back home? Because they at home. I mean they out there eating and shit. They kicking it. Y'all, one thing another thing about Puerto Rico too, if you've never been to Puerto Rico too, one thing they do is they gonna sit in a restaurant and eat. They don't care. I don't care. I done I done ate churches. I done ate uh Wendy's. I done ate like a lot of fast foods here. But they gonna sit outside and eat. Like at the restaurant. And you know, Puerto Rico to me really be like they living in like I would say like early 2000s like they still would enjoy a family meal together at churches after church type shit so it's like them sitting outside and eating really ain't no surprise to me we found it we did it huh? wait no do not pull out of them don't pull out of them because that's something that they will do baby they'll get out in the middle of the road and drive slow hold up no I can't see not a God dang, you gotta whip that motherfucker. We good, we good. What's it? Y'all, why this KFC? Why this KFC? Now I gotta drive through that shit. Why this KFC? This is K. That did never said McDonald's. That never said McDonald's. Not one time did that say McDonald's, y'all. I wish, y'all, they really on this patio kicking it and eating. Like, they on the patio kicking in and eating, bro. That's one thing I love about Puerto Rico. Like, they just, it's just about the vibes here. They don't really care. All right, y'all, we at McDonald's. <laughs> I ain't heard nothing y'all say. You know, I can't drive. I can't drive and talk to you. So, but, y'all, like, okay. The menu is going to be extensive. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, no espanol. No it's okay. Uh, let me get a. Can I get a Big Mac? Meal or just a Big Mac? Let me let me get the meal. What's gonna be different? Uh, a Sprite. Anything else? Uh, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Sorry. What's your favorite thing on the menu? Well, um. So anything else? That's it? Uh, and let me get a, a caramel McFlurry. Anything else? And that's all. Okay, um, you got 10 with 47 cents. You got pass it with them. Okay, thank you so much. But you see what I'm saying? Like, we're, like, they speak English, but, like, a, like a lot of people here speak English. Like, um, I had posted that uh, short and I think the, sh the beginning of the short was like uh, the girl didn't speak English. That was not the problem. You only got it on the short. If you watch the full video on TikTok, then you'll know I was not talking about her not speaking English at all. I would never do that. But I only cut it at that part where I said uh, she was doing a bird call. But a lot of people here speak English, but it's like very minimal. You know what I'm saying? Also, like when I was asking him what's his favorite menu item, he probably couldn't understand that part. But he could understand like what I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Also, it's like you gotta just, just man, just love, just love. I got my order. I got a Big Mac. I ain't getting no mayo on that mug though. I'm gonna need some mayo packages. But a lot of people here, they, they, even, and if they don't speak English, they'll literally get somebody who does speak English. This is one of the nicest freaking places that I've ever been to, y'all. Like I swear to God, like I ain't gonna even hold you. Like even if they don't speak English. They'll be nice as hell and be like, and then go get somebody else to do it. But I'm at McDonald's. I wanted some other stuff because I was, honestly, I was, I, or, my initial thing was I talked to Rena. We, me and Rena talked on FaceTime because y'all know Rena's at home. She shoot, she's shooting a movie right now. So I was like, I'm going to go to Puerto Rico to work. So she's shooting a movie and I'm working here. So that's why Rena's not here right now. But I was talking to her earlier. And I don't know what the hell my point was behind that. I had one, but it's gone. 
But I was talking to her earlier about something. Oh, what was I talking to her about? I was about to tell y'all something. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Thank you. And that's a, and that's another thing too. Hey, if you got a debit card, they is not gonna pass that shit as credit. No, they're not. You don't have to dispute nothing here. Not a goddamn thing. You don't have to dispute nothing here. If Thank you so much. Thank you. I I don't really like chocolate, y'all. Is that chocolate? I mean I like chocolate. I'm gonna eat that. Because it's just like chocolate sprinkles on the top with caramel in it. So this is their I got a caramel McFlurry. Right? No, I never got into the coconut, but wait till you see the vlog tomorrow. I never got into that coconut. I had to release it. Did y'all watch my vlog today? Drop in the comments right now if y'all watch my vlog today. If you have it, man, go check it out. Because y'all know YouTube don't be recommending my shit. So, make sure y'all go check out the vlog that I posted today. It's like a, it's an hour long, bro. It's an hour long. Like, it's an hour long. Bro, I dropped an hour long vlog. I was so excited about that. I didn't know I had that much footage. I really did. I did not know I had that much footage to drop an hour long vlog. So make sure. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you, K. John. How you say your name, K. John? That's cute. That's cute. Geraldine, I ain't been nowhere. What's up, Sassy? Don't forget. Oh, Mayo. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany, if you could see my fucking leg and how them bugs ate me up. Oh, my God. Diana, I love your homeland. One of the most beautifulest things I've ever experienced. I'm not, I haven't been to like many countries. I've been to uh, Mexico and to the Bahamas. And then Puerto Rico, of course, USA. But I, I still feel like Puerto Rico is another country. I ain't gonna lie to you. I still feel like Puerto Rico is another country. It's just different out here. And that's why I wanted to go like stream live so y'all can honestly see like I'm at McDonald's right now. You feel me? And it ain't no period og follower but it ain't it really is really no difference other than a language barrier that's it you feel me but make sure y'all go and watch um the vlog that i posted today i know a lot of y'all didn't get the uh notification enjoy post that post that man kyra go come come to puerto rico bro come to puerto rico what city am i going to next i i, I swear to god like i really feel like in my heart I just want to stay in Puerto Rico for a minute. You know what I'm Like, because the island is not that big. So, it's just like, you might as well explore it while you can. You know what I'm saying? Can I get some mayo? Mayo? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Mayo. Ah, yeah, get mayo. Yeah, mayo. Ah, mayo. Thank you so much. So, so it just takes patience. Like, it's just patience. If you don't understand it, like, just, bro, I'm telling you, that's, I, I think I kind of want to stay, like, in Puerto Rico for a minute. Like, I don't know. I, I do have a passport. Like, I can go, you know what I'm saying, like, anywhere in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, like y'all must see the vlog. I'm telling you, make sure y'all go see the vlog. I love you more, Jay, Joy. Uh, thank you so much. Much your in this. Bro, look how much mayo she gave me. Bro, so clearly they don't have packages she filled up the whole clip look you look right here y'all can y'all see i don't think y'all gonna be able to see it and it's gonna make me so sad like how everybody is outside just in look look hi how are you how everybody is just outside enjoying a mcdonald's right now like y'all seen it like tell me y'all didn't see that like how everybody was just outside eating mcdonald's like the people congregate here you know what you know what just dawned on me what i don't see it's like honestly like a lot of people walking on their phone browsing while they doing something else like i ain't gonna even lie to you like i, I really don't i don't see a lot of that they really congregate and talk to each other but look how much mayo she gave me like she feels this joint up to the top <laughs> They at the gas station kicking it. Y'all, you know what? I need to go to the gas station. I'm going to have to leave y'all in the car for a minute. Because, hey, somebody babysit the car while I go in the store. 
Cause I, I gotta go to the store. I gotta get me a uh, a sprite. Should I take y'all with me? I need to go get me a sprite. I'm gonna take y'all with me though. I'm gonna take y'all with me. I ain't gonna hold you. I got a motorbike, boys. I'm gonna take y'all with me for real. Cause I gotta get me a uh. I, well, I got a. I, I have a sprite right here. Matter of fact, Rena told me to drink water. I ain't been drinking water, so I'm gonna go get me some water at the store. Because, oh, I need some water. Wait, let me get my wallet. Hey, it's so many things like that I love about Puerto Rico, bro. Is that, what's on my face? What I, uh, one of the things that I love about Puerto Rico is you ain't got to be nobody but yourself. You feel me? How are you? Right. You ain't got to be uh, nobody but yourself. Me, I just, this is the first homeless person that I've seen. That is the, and I don't even think he homeless. I think he just drunk. I swear to God, like, I don't, I don't really see, like, no homeless people. Y'all, I'm in the heart. When I say I'm in the heart of Puerto Rico, like, for real, they all looking at me like, they'll size me up first. They'll size you up first and then realize you don't mean no harm. That water, 479, hold up, 479. This store will look expensive. This store a little high. This, this store a little high right here. I ain't gonna even hold you. This store a little high. Cause if I done went to the gas, should I go to the gas station by my house? Nah, I'm already here. This store a little high. This store a little high, for real. But y'all, I'm in the heart. Like, I ain't gonna even hold you. Like, I'm in the heart, for real. Like, every time I walk in the store, they'll like size me up. They like size you up type shit. And then like shit be cool. I think I should've went to that, that store by my crib though. Yeah, I'm going to go to the store by my crib. I ain't going to even hold you. Nah, I ain't going to get this shit. I don't want to pay $5 for this. You can call me what you want. Call me cheap. Put this back. But if I go to that store by my house, am I going to know where it's at? Because I ain't got no GPS. I just came here for a order, though. So shit going to be straight. I'm telling you, Joy. I'm protected by the angels always. I don't be worried. I don't, I don't be worried. I really don't. I just feel like I don't be nothing to worry about, but I'm really like, I'm in Puerto Rico. <laughs> like I'm not in no, no tourist area. And that's how I wanted to live. Like when me and Rena came, we, me and Rena didn't even stay in no tourist area, but I, don't, I ain't want to stay in no tourist area. Oh, I want some chocolate. I want a Snickers. Look, they got everything you got. They got this ain't this is still the USA. What kind of candy y'all want? Uh, and I, I'm gonna go with Snickers. I don't want no M&Ms. What else I want? I'm gonna go with Snickers. What else? Should I go Baby Ruth? I love a good Baby Ruth, y'all. I ain't gonna need hugs. Like, I like Baby Ruth. Um, I'm gonna go M&M's. Fuck it. I'm gonna go M&M's with Baby Ruth. Yeah, I, I, I eat M&M's all the time. I ain't tried no my son's sandwich. Chocolate Girl East, I love you, sis. Sis, I love you. I'm out here looking like, she. it's 11 o'clock. What time is it where y'all eat? Because it's 11 o'clock here. Oh, they be having mosquitoes everywhere. It's 11 o'clock here. What time is it where y'all at? Because it's still the same time. Yeah, it tastes different. It tastes, it tastes way different. They food tastes way different, for real. This, I ain't gonna lie, this store was a little bit more expensive than what the fuck I'm used to paying for. Okay. 
thinking. Hey, I ain't gonna even hold you. Bro, he ain't even look at me. He ain't look at me, he ain't say nothing to me. He put my card on the counter and went on about his business. <laughs> he ain't say nothing to me. You feel me? I, I respect the culture though, because a lot of times tourists come here, they shit, they be in and out. So it don't really bother me. They don't really bother me at all. Cause I know like, maybe he ain't speak English or maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't, he ain't know what the hell I was saying or how to talk to me, huh? Yeah, we good. But maybe he ain't know how to talk to me type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, wasn't it awkward? It be, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, that shit really do be awkward, but this shit don't bother me. Maybe he don't, he just don't know English. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe he don't know English. He don't know how to talk to me. So you really can't even take shit personal out here because you don't know. He probably think I had an attitude because he don't understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? No, that's why you gotta give people like grace type shit. So I, that shit don't bother me. I, I I I do be feeling like it's awkward, but at the same time, when you know your situation and you know like somebody probably don't speak the same language as you, he just doing his job. So you can't even be like, well, what's what's his attitude about? It ain't like when you, you know what I'm saying? Like where we from and you, they, and they like have a real attitude with you about paying for, for extra sauce type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you can't even be like, you can't even be mad about nothing here. You can't about how they act or nothing he just doing his job he checked me out he gave my debit card he did put it on the counter maybe that's just shit what they was taught but i can't be mad at him like if he don't speak english you know what i'm saying like maybe he didn't understand what i was saying or or so you that, that's one thing i have learned about being here is like it's not no damn attitude they don't understand what the hell you saying but i got my stuff i got my water and shit i feel like i need to stop at this gas station up here because i ain't gonna need a lot of y'all like I need to stop up there and get something so I can go to sleep tonight. Because I ain't really been sleeping. So, that one, I ain't never been to that gas station. I ain't never been to that gas station. But, as you can see, yeah, it probably was a little awkward. Because we don't speak the same language. But the one that I be going to up the street is, is sometimes they speak English, sometimes they don't. You feel me? Did I pray today? If not, remember to do Yeah, I prayed today. I did pray today. And that's the thing, like... We gotta learn to give people grace. Even if even if he did have an attitude or didn't like me, that's just that's just his opinion. But we be so focused on people and man, let that shit go. Where that gas station at? Cause y'all know I ain't got no um y'all know y'all 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 on my phone, so I ain't got no GPS. So now I gotta find my Boom! Found it! It's right here. It's right here. Cause I'm about to go in the store right quick. I ain't gonna even hold you. Cause what I'm finna go get, you don't need to know. Do I want it? I be having to keep shit PG on here. It ain't no alcohol or nothing. It ain't no, you know what I'm saying, no or nothing. It ain't nothing bad. But at the same time, when you got a brand, when you got shit to lose, you gotta, you just gotta move a certain way. You know what I'm saying, though? You just gotta move a certain way. But I got y'all on live right now, but I gotta run in this though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might go get a PM. And you not coming with me. Hey, somebody in the chat, hold it down. Cause I'll be back. But I went up in there and I ain't had no damn uh I forgot my cash at home, so it'd be like a five dollar minimum on all that ATM shit. So I had to get damn near everything they had in the store just to get a PM. But they wasn't open, so I had to talk to her through that little thing. Okay, let's figure out how to get home. Let's figure out how to get home. I think I know how to get back to the crib from here. Y'all miss me? Who held it down in the check? Who held it down? I know, I know somebody held it down, but they had like a $5 uh, minimum on the ATMs. I mean, on a cash transaction. It's like, damn, bro. And I had $2 in this joint. I think I turned right here. Okay, we turned right here. Okay, now we gotta go over here and figure out how to get home because y'all on my GPS. I mean, y'all on my phone, so I ain't got no GPS. How the fuck I get home? got it though y'all go left or right i think i go left i think i go left if i got if i know if i know how to get to the crib 
Okay, so the beach is that way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, they got like a $5 minimum transaction on all that shit. So every time I go, get the fuck, get out, get out the way, get out the way. Sir, get up. Just go. Who's pet? Y'all, they cats and chickens and dogs. I swear to God, chickens, especially those cats. But they, they animals, they, they just have the same rights as people. Oh, y'all, yeah, I'm at home. The cat, the cats around here and chickens, they have the same. Sir! Please, don't, don't. Why would you cross that road? And you know I'm right here. Not for it. I'm not for it. I'm just not for it. Okay. I'm back at home. Ah! Call me Puerto Rico cousin. Oh, she walking her dog. She straight. She straight as hell. All right. We about to go eat some McDonald's, dog. All right. Oi. Slide down. See what I'm saying, but man, y'all, bro, I hope y'all watch that vlog today. I swear to God, I do. Man, yo, I'm in there to smash my food. I ain't gonna even hold it. Yo, why does it smell so good? Look how to smash the box. Look how to <laughs> look how to smash the box. All right, y'all. I'm so hungry right now. I ain't even hold you. This honestly my first time having. Um, thank you, Johnny. What I get to eat, we got McDonald's. I just rolled the McDonald's. But let's pray. God, thank you so much once again for the food you prepared for my body, Lord God. Thank you so much for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, Lord God. Whatever you see fit, let it be done. No worries, no stress, because I know you with control. Let anybody who watches this video be blessed. I want to say thank you. You're now for amen. But, uh, y'all, look how, this is what I was trying to show y'all earlier. Look how much mayo she gave me. Like, it's literally, like, up to the top. Like, literally, she gave me so much mayo, bro. This shit smells so good. Hold up. This smell, like, hold up. This smells so good. This smell like, like, like a damn, like a damn chili burger or something, ain't it? I got ice cream right here. I was not making two trips. I was not making two. No, the burger wasn't in my pocket, but I wasn't making two trips. Let's do it. Oh, my God. Yo, why does it smell so good? Will I need mayo? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do it taste the same? It don't taste the same. It don't taste the same. It don't even smell the same. It smells fresh. Like dead ass. Hold up. Because I don't really be eating uh, <coughs> the flies. If you watch the vlog, make sure you go watch the vlog. You can t you can see I left the door open last night and it's just it's it's flies. Let me see. Mm mm. No. No. Top of girl eat tear down. No. 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 It, it tastes more like for real. I hate to sound cliche, but it tastes like fresh. It tastes like fresh. Nothing here tastes like what we got. Nothing. Nothing. They ain't put nobody's salt on these. Nobody's salt. They good though. They good. She ain't give me no spoon for my own. Um, ice cream eaters cool. Yeah, would I be wrong? Would I be wrong? Or what am I about to do?
would I be wrong? Damn, my burger falling apart. How you, I need some mayo. Try the fries and ice cream. Say this. No. I don't like it. <laughs> no. No, I love you more, lady. Lady Jack. I love you more, Lady J. For real. Period. I love you, Ash. I don't like the um the ice cream and fries. I ain't gonna even hold you. I just like they belong. I'm telling you, stuff be fit to be messed up, Draco. You hear me? Does the pop taste the same or is it different? Mm -hmm. Yep. You know McDonald's probably take you out. You know, I, Cajun, I ain't even mad at you for liking that because I know a lot of people that like that. But I rather enjoy mine just like separate. I never really eat like McDonald's at home. The only reason why I was like McDonald's today because I ain't never tried McDonald's in Puerto Rico. I mean, and I'm trying everything. Which is worse, the heat or the bugs? The bugs. The bugs for sure. Because, like, I'm used to, I'm used to the heat. Honestly, I'm used to the bugs. But I messed up. The, it, the bugs ain't bothered me. I bothered the bugs because I left the door open. I had went to the beach. Yeah, I got AC. I got AC and solar panels, so I'm good. But the bugs don't bother me. If I'm on a beach and I get bit, that's fine. Like, I'm, I'm from Mississippi. Like, I'm not worried about that. Your family coming to Puerto Rico for uh, Thanksgiving? Like, if I'm on the beach and I get bit by bugs, like, I'm not worried about that. Where I messed up is, and it's not the bugs' fault. I left for a couple of hours. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, baby. I left for a couple of hours, and I left the, do the back door open. So, for like two hours, watch the vlog. So when I came in, bugs was everywhere. And that wasn't the bugs fault. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I don't, really have, I don't really have no complaints about Puerto Rico. Especially about the stuff like that I've done to myself. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Hey, Ozzy. I did that to myself. Like, I, I left that door open. So I can't even be mad and be like, oh... Well, Puerto Rico got bugs and bugs, bugs. No, like if you was in Mississippi or Houston, you would still have the same damn bugs. You feel me? But my dumb ass left the door open, so now the bugs in the house. Bro, I, I documented accountability. It's not them. Because <laughs> the bugs would have still been outside if I ain't leave the damn door open. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Nene's munchies, sis. That's the only reason why I'm so bit up and still bit up and still dealing with bugs in the house. Because even though I tried to kill them all, I didn't get them all. You feel me? So now I've been up here with mosquito bites from head to damn toe. That's my fault. I left the door open. Read your comment, Red Libra. What you say? Lewis, I got you. Excuse me. If I remember, I got you. I'm actually, uh, I was in the middle of editing a vlog earlier before I called y'all. <laughs> I was editing a vlog earlier before I called y'all. I'm editing a video right now. I was like talking to my wife. I was talking to Rena. I was like, babe, I'm hungry. She's like, she, you need to go get you something to eat. Like, you gotta eat. But I got you, Louis. Yeah, I'm still in Puerto Rico. There's some strong arsenal hairspray. Hi, Devarius. Thank you, kitty kitty. Thank you. <laughs> it was the coconut. 
The mosquitoes love you, sis. Need these smudges talking about the mosquitoes love me. Oh, God. Oh, God, bro. Oh, God. That's how I feel here. But, of course, red liver. Send me the, um, send me the restaurant. Send me the restaurant. Y'all know how much I love Cleveland, baby. You can't tell me shit about Cleveland. No, you could not. You could never tell me. Baby, Cleveland don't do wrong with my ass. How much did this cost? I think it was $12. I don't know. Y'all y'all probably heard, heard it on the live. I think it was like 12 bucks. Was it $12? I don't know. The receipt somewhere. But I think it was like $12. You think so? If I weigh myself before and after. I ain't gonna lie though. Puerto Rico food is just fresh. This don't taste like a Big Mac back home. It really, really don't. Like, it, it don't. To be honest, I wouldn't even be a fan of a Big Mac back home. Like, I would never go to, I wouldn't go to McDonald's. I would have went to KFC to just get me some chicken. But this don't taste like, I, look how, look how I done shredded to some in the rings. Nothing here tastes back home. Nothing here. They don't like, they season that stuff, but I can't, Jamil, I don't eat burger and fries. I don't eat it. Hi, Nairo. I don't eat burger and fries. I swear to God, I don't. No. I'm not like a beef eater. I've been to Cedar Point. I went to Cedar Point. I think I got a vlog on Cedar Point. But here, they don't really like, you know, like back home, like we season our shit to, to the teeth. Here, they focus more on like love and it being fresh. Uh, hell yeah, I need some books right. <laughs> Jamil said that damn burger didn't stand a chance. I live in Cleveland and wait on the moment I run into you. I love you. Nada, I be in Cleveland kicking it. You can't tell me nothing about Cleveland in a million years. I done been to a lot of cities. Cleveland is literally one of my favorite cities. I swear to God, never in a million years. They got a Walmart. Cooking with Jigo. They have a Walmart. Mm hmm They have Walmart. Huh. I'm trying to food. But are you in Columbus? That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you, hey. But this don't taste like no regular McDonald's burger. The only thing I I don't know, I feel I feel okay. I probably I don't know if I'm eating the later or not. I ain't gonna even hold you. I really could could have just did without the fries. All that mayo. <laughs> I'm still not over it. I ain't gonna lie to you. It, it was fresh. Everything here, y'all. Y'all, yeah, let me tell you. I ain't shitting on my country. No, I'm not. I can't shit on a place that birthed me. I love where the hell I'm from. You feel me? That mayo don't even taste the same. I love where I'm from, but at the same time, I don't think we cooking food like this. You know, sometimes like when I eat McDonald's and stuff, like I get nauseated. You feel me? The fries wasn't even bad without the uh without the salt. I ain't gonna hold you. But I don't be eating burgers and shit because I don't like beef because I get nauseated. That shit didn't taste like it. it was real light. Let me give me a spoon. Let me get up out of here. Hold on. I got Fuck it. I might well take you with me, cuz. Mm. You flew. 
Louis, you feel me? Louis, Louis, you feel me? Everything is fresh here. Like it's not like a nothing. I don't. I just really don't believe nothing here is processed. You feel me? I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen right now. I don't feel like nothing here is processed. I really feel like everything here is fresh. That's why I be like fucking with their food for real. Like people be like, why would you? Excuse me. People could be like. Puerto Rico got so many good foods. Why would you go to McDonald's? Why would you go to... Because, hell, I'm still American. <laughs> God fought this pizza back in the day. What's up? Get lit with Shay, since I love you. But I'm still... Hell, I'm still an American. I don't act like... I'm from here and want to eat rice and beans every day. While I do love that rice and beans, I ain't going to hold you. That's just not something that, like, I want to eat every day. I want to eat... I want to eat like, hold on, I want to eat like everything, I want to eat like shit, what I'm used to, you know what I'm saying, so it's like, yeah, I'm going I'm to go to, I'm going to go to McDonald's, I'm going to go to Wendy's, so like, if I was back home, shit, i go to Popeye's, i go to KFC, I'll call my honey back, she calling me, my other cousin just calling me, I'm going to call her back. I'm about to call my little cousin back. But I, I'm just a normal. Huh. I'm going to call my little cousin. Did she call me? I thought I seen it. But I don't know where it's at. But of course, I'm going to go to uh, McDonald's and shit just because I'm hungry. And that's only because I'm, I'm really, I'm here on vacation, but I'm not here on vacation. You feel me? So if you really add up my time, this is my second week in Puerto Rico. Me and Rena stayed last week for a, a week. Then I we went home on like a uh, Friday and then I came back on Sunday or Monday Sunday I came back Sunday or Monday Monday so it was just like she's shooting a movie I'm coming back it's all good you feel me so it's like I, this was literally my second week here so by the time your second week here you kind of really don't be focused on tourism shit and food and shit like you really don't you only do that for content this is a normal night, so I'm just shit eating McDonald's. How did ice cream taste? What is hitting on? That's ice cream. This tastes the same, yeah. It's good. That's good. At first, like, when I said, I told him I wanted to, uh, yeah, we're gonna shoot a movie right now. But at first, I told him I wanted a caramel. McFlurry. They put Oreos in it and put a little caramel in it. Then my stomach gonna be fucked up tonight. Thank you, Miss J. Thank you, baby. I know damn well that ain't look right. I didn't. I'm calling my wife. I'm gonna call my wife so she can say, hey, y'all. Mm -hmm. Wait, I gotta make sure she ain't naked first, because she be naked. I mean, you ain't about to see my wife naked. No, you're not. I'm gonna call my wife. Because if she answer that phone naked, I don't want y'all to see her. Her naked. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. You naked? Oh, oh, okay. Say hey to the lab. Hey, y'all. I'm dead. I had called you because my house. Huh? You ain't called me like right there? No, baby. I'm just saying, I just called you just a minute ago because my fault, my uh, computer was on FaceTime and I seen uh, the blessing. I said, let me call my wife. Oh. Uh, okay, you're Hell yeah. And I looked at the computer and I thought about you. I appreciate that. I love that. I What you ate? Possible as good as hell. Yeah, I'm gonna get over here because it's music in the car. Now you okay? And you got me over here eating McDonald's. I just called to tell y'all, lady. Okay, I love you too. I don't want you to get copyrighted. I love you. It's okay, love you. All right, baby. This ice cream is fine.
You had me thinking was dipping my. I did. I did dip the fries or ice cream at first, but I ain't like it. Can you try a sandwich or a taco place next? I got you. How do you send me money? My cash app is Cuzzo AB. You can send me money, baby. I'm not gonna beg you for it, but if you want to send it, baby, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> no. You know how much my food bill be? Y'all think I make money on YouTube? I do, but my food budget be. I talked to Angelo today. I talked to him today. Let me see if I can get him on the line. I'm about to FaceTime. I don't got to FaceTime on my computer. Because, like, you know, if you call somebody on your computer, you can have a. They, my cash app is Cuzzle Every. My cash app is Cuzzle Every on everything. But I talked to Angelo today. He, man, he gave me a pep talk about my vlog. He was like, how he loved my vlog and just, just show up. Just show up. Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican pork chops. I'm telling you, man, food so high, bro. If y'all want to send me money, baby, I swear to God, I ain't the one to stop you. No, I'm not. Hell no. My cash app is Cuzzo AB. My cash app is Cuzzo AB. <laughs> but no, nah, I be, um, I don't know, my food bill be high, so I do make a little change on YouTube to pay the food bill. I don't complain, no, I do that shit for y'all. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa, hard times don't last. Tough people do. You feel me? Can you eat what I want you to eat? Oh, yeah. If you send me money, I'll eat whatever the hell you want me to eat. I don't want nobody to think I'm on here begging. No, I ain't begging. But if you ever send me a cash app and it's attached to something you want me to eat, I'm going to dedicate that video specifically to you. You feel me? Because I mean, like, what else? What else do... What else could I possibly ask for? You know what I'm saying? No, like y'all, y'all pay for the food anyway by watching the videos, and that's something that I will always be grateful for because y'all pay for anything that I eat. You feel me? Even though it don't cost you nothing, you still support me and watch YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And watch my channel. So it's like the reciprocation is if you watch my videos, I can, can continue to keep doing this. So I ain't never really been a complainer because this ice cream good. But my cash up cuz of me, if you would, and I'll dedicate the whole video to you. You feel me? Hey, thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany, I got you. Thank you, Tiffany, so much. Tiffany Bartendale. Tiffany, you a cuz OG for real. You don't have that same profile picture since I started. <laughs> Tiffany, you don't have the same profile picture as since I started. Drinko, if you're gonna take a note, my favorite note to you would be to be yourself. You feel me? And just just hustle and grind. Any advice you need, you know I got you. But just be your damn self. That's the note for real. You feel me? That I, I think we like the ice cream. <laughs> I watched the video when you trying to open that coconut. Thank you so much, Dale. Dale, I appreciate you. Tiffany, you done had that same profile picture since we started this journey. I, I'm not no dummy. I pay attention. You hear me? But, I don't know. I feel like YouTube has been good to me, bro. I ain't mean hold you. YouTube been good to me. I can never complain about YouTube. You know, the money I make, the views, it, it really don't matter to me because, excuse me, it's reciprocated. And it's it's just like a like an ongoing freaking thing that if y'all watch me, I can do this. And, and eat all over the world and then y'all watch that and I can still do this. You feel what I'm saying? They don't last, you're right. Melissa, you got this. Melissa, listen to me. I was just talking to my cousin. Nada, you got this. You don't need to send me no money. Melissa, Nada, you ain't got to send me a dime. You feel me? You ain't got to send me a dime, man. I, I genuinely want Melissa and Nada to know that y'all existence of just being here is enough. I would never ask y'all for money. You feel me? Only reason why I was talking about my cash app was because he asked. You feel me? So don't ever feel obligated to send me money. Don't ever feel obligated to to do nothing for me because in in my eyes, like y'all do enough. Y'all do enough. You feel me? Like y'all watch my videos. Y'all pull up to the lives. I ain't. I would never ask y'all for anything. 
Like, I just, I just wouldn't. So don't feel obligated. And as far as your depression, you're going to get through it. But right now in this moment, it, it feels like it's, it's like the end of the world, especially when you get to th that point of depression. You know what I'm saying? Though? But when you're going through that depression and you're going through them tough times, just remember tough times don't last, tough people do. So that depression, it can't last forever. So you might as well just... Nah, I don't do that, Zare. Thank you so much, Life With John Amico. John Amico? Is that how you say your name? But telling you, when you be going through the depression and you be going through those moments, you be going through those times, it really do be feeling like the end of the freaking world, bro. But I swear to God, it ain't like you just got to pull something out of you that you need from you. And that's what I try to remember. Like, I, I'm, I'm a great person. I'm a, I'm a valuable person to this world. Like, I'm a great asset to this world. I do not feel like I'm a liability to this world. I know I add so much to this world. Whether that's coming on here, just spreading joy. Whether that's saying, hi, how are you to everybody that I meet? Because that's a habit of mine to look at somebody. We make eye contact. I'll be like, hi, how are you? That probably made somebody's day. If it didn't, at least you know like you thought of. You feel what I'm saying? No. Or saying thank you at the gas station. Like we saving lives. So I know I'm an asset to this world. And that's something that I just, just keep my eye on. And just know that if I'm an asset to this world. Then I know I'm pouring into the world. With this positivity that I have. All Things Nurse Lex. Hey boo. Thank you so much All Things Lex. What's up Yolanda? Urban Hookah. What's up? But keep like just consider yourself an asset to this world. You're valuable. Like, you're valuable. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, especially when you know your heart good, your spirit good, your smile good, your life good. You feel me? Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, you ain't got to say me nothing, baby. Yo, 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 presence on this live right now is, is genuinely enough. I don't want anybody to ever feel like they obligated to send me anything. Because one thing about it, two things, a certain God is always going to provide. You feel me? Tiffany, you got this. You got this. I'm telling you, man, like, and I know it's like, I know it's like better said than done, for real. I know it's better said than done for me to, for me to tell you, don't be depressed. Your anxiety shouldn't be that high. Uh, you shouldn't think about that. Uh, you shouldn't worry about that. Like, I, I know, like, I know that's like cliche for, for somebody that loves you to say that shit. I'm not going to say that to you, that you shouldn't be worried about something. What I'm going to say is you should be worried about it. You should, but at the same time, you shouldn't waddle in it. You can worry about it, but you can't waddle in it. Because the more you waddle in it, the more that problem is going to exist. And the, more, the, the the quicker you get up and do something about it, that just shows your power. And, and, and I just believe everybody in here is so powerful because I feel like my energy aligns with people that I, you know what I'm saying? My energy aligns and I attract people with the same energy as me. So I know everybody, all 154 of y'all, like I know Y'all got good energy and good intentions. If you commenting right now, like I know your intentions good because you, I, I know how much y'all love me. Can you mess with, yeah, mess with me on IG. But I know y'all love me, so I know y'all intentions are good. You got to realize like you just valuable to this world. You valuable to this world. And the energy that you pour out is the energy that you going to get. And, I, and I'm not saying like, yeah, I'm invincible. I'm untouchable. Like I could, I could walk around Puerto Rico and ain't nobody going to touch me. Like, no, that's not what I'm saying. Y'all want me in the gas station. What I'm saying is the energy that I pour out is going to be reciprocated because you see like she just, she, she just came here for a Tylenol PM. She just came up in here for a water. She just came up in here for this. When you pour out good energy, it's just going to be reciprocated. And I thank God that that's how I'm able to make it home safe every single night because I know I'm just a good person. You feel me? I don't share my downs often, but I sure feel like I can. Man, I'm telling you, Melissa, you gonna be okay. You gonna be okay. You gonna be okay because what I, I'm just saying, I don't want you to waddle in it. I don't want you to be looking down on yourself. I don't want you to be talking down on yourself because that's going to align. The more you talk down on yourself, the more you speak harshly of yourself, the more you speak harshly of your situation, that shit going to continue to follow you. 
And that's why it's so important to just have a good mind frame on stuff, to just have a have a positive, you know what I'm saying, like mind frame on everything that you do. Because if you, you speak in positivity, then positivity will come. But if you speak in negativity of all these things about yourself, then that's really how you're going to feel. So you get to dictate that. You really get to dictate how you treat yourself. You really get to dictate how you feel. Because if I'm I'm walking around here all day and I'm saying which I have I and I'm not I'm not I'm not judging nobody I'm not I'm just telling y'all about me, but I have I don't waddle in the bed for a couple of weeks I didn't walk around here like man like when is God gonna do something for me and you know what he didn't because he told me don't waddle in it and it's the more the more I felt that way about myself it became the more I felt the way, that way about myself if that makes sense the more I thought I was depressed the more I thought. I can't get out the bed the more I never got out the bed because this is really what I thought of myself. But when I when it clicked and I started saying, man, Ashley, get your ass up. Like, like, get your ass up. Like, you you better than this. Go outside. And I started being kind to myself. You get what I'm saying? Like, and and being nice to myself and giving myself some grace. It's just like that's what I got for myself when I changed my mind frame. And that's just really all I'm saying. Urban Hooper, you feel me? You feel me? Empress, talk your Empress love, talk your shit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 120, looking for that period. But you just gotta be, you gotta be kind to yourself. Like you really do gotta be kind to yourself. Like you deserve to be kind to yourself. You deserve to be, to be, to love you because. Ain't nobody in this world gonna love you like you love you. So why the hell is you hard on yourself? You give everybody in your family grace. You give your co-workers grace. You give your family grace. You give your kids grace. You give your husband grace. You give your wife grace. Like, why you can't give that to yourself? Like, why you, why you, why you just won't sit yourself down and say, you know what? I done made some mistakes, but I'm, I'm not my mistakes. I'm really a good person. I was laid off after 20 years. She was starting over. Tiffany, listen, baby, that job was never for you. And I'm, I'm so glad you got to experience 20 years at a job. But whatever God has for you, Tiffany Barksdale, it's just for you. It's just for you. You know? Don't look at that like, don't look at that as like, oh, damn, I done lost my job. What am I going to do? I know that's the first thing we're going to think about because we're human. We're trying to get this bread. We got to get these bills paid. We got we got kids to feed. We got shit to do. But at the same time, guess what you're going to do? Go look for another job. You're going you gonna to find you another job. And, and you're going to find something that's for you. So all I'm saying is in that moment when it happens, we get so frustrated. Get frustrated in that moment. But then you boss the hell up and you go do what you got to do. Because it's already done. Like, it's already done. It's already done. Tiffany, you're going to get the best job of your life. Tiffany, I'm, I'm claiming that for you right now. You're going to get the best job of your life. Because that one just, it just ran its course. We talked about experiences last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, or the night before, whenever we talked about it, Experiences. Maybe, maybe it's it's possible. I'm not saying that it is. Tiffany, maybe it was, you spent more time at that job that you were supposed to. Maybe you weren't even supposed to be there 20 years. And sometimes what God does for us is when, when we don't want to let go, he'll snatch it from us. When we don't want to let go, he'll snatch it from us. You feel me? Because there's other stuff that we need to do, but we be, it's, he'll snatch it from us. So we're going to take that as a blessing, Tiffany. That you lost that job. Because it was just a job. And God is still providing. Yeah, you might be going through a little, 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 a little obstacle right now. You might be going through some tough times right now. Whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. You might be going through something right now. Because I know you're going to grieve that 20-year job. But at the same time, Romans 8.18, baby. Romans 8.18. I consider our present sufferings. They are not compared to the joy that's already revealed in us. So I'm praying for you, Tiffany. I'm praying for you, man. Like, for you to know that what God has for you is for you. You did your 20. How many more you was going to give him? You feel me? So I'm praying you get the best job of your life, man. Melissa, you got this. I, I'm, I'm telling you, April love, life is great. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all fall short. 
I ain't about to sit on this app and act like I, I just don't fall short or like I'm just positive all the times. Hell no, I, I have my moments. You feel me? I have my moments. But through the grace of God, like, I, I try not to remain there. Because the devil will have us thinking. The devil will have us thinking that we really not worth it. The devil will have us thinking like we not worth grace. We not worth a new job. We not worth a new car. We not worth a new partner. We're not worthy being happy. You are. You are. You worthy of everything. Everybody in the chat saying you got this, Tiffany. You got this. Like you got this. You got to keep your head strong. You got to just keep going. Because we wasn't, we wasn't put here to be miserable. We be making ourselves miserable by staying in situations too long. Tiffany, you probably ain't like that goddamn job anyway. Tiffany, I'm just a little tired right now, so I can't, I can't fuss the way I want to. But you probably ain't like that job anyway. You know what I'm saying? It was probably a lot of things that you loved about it, but it was also some things that you didn't. And you probably been wanting to leave. And guess what God did? He snatched it. He snatched it because he knew you was not going to better yourself or do something that was far above your means of what you're doing now if he did not take that away. So sometimes you just got to take stuff as a blessing instead of looking at it. You know what I'm saying? You can't give up till you got to look, look at stuff as a blessing. What's in this for me? It's got to be something here for me. I tell God all the time. When I'm going through something, I tell God all the time, bro, it's got to be something in here for me. I, I know it's something in here for me. So y'all got to stay focused and love on y'all self a little bit harder tonight, man. Y'all do. Y'all know I'm about to go because I'm getting sleepy. I done took that talent off you. I ain't going to hold you. I'm about to give me some good night's sleep. But, um, I, 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 I don't know. I just, you just got to go with it. I was about to say, can I pray with you? I was about to say, can I pray with you? And then the devil just came up on me and said, but you've been cussing this whole life. And I wasn't going to say, can I pray with you? Because I have been cussing. So that's how you know the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. Because even though I ain't perfect, she, I, see what I'm saying? Like, I just, it just be slipping out. Like, I be cussing. My grandma was a cussler, and she went to church. She was an usher every Sunday. Just because I cuss a little bit, though, when the spirit ain't, ain't up on me. You feel me? But, um, I'm about to pray with y'all, and we're about to take us a good nap. And I pray, like, um... I pray that even through my deficits of being human with my cuss words, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that y'all understand that the Holy Spirit can touch anywhere. That's why I always tell you that you are not your situation. The Holy Spirit can sneak up on you anywhere, anytime, any place, no matter your wrongs. When the Spirit is, is in you and not on you, then you could do what you want. But we're about to pray. And I, I just, I just want to pray with y'all, man. And to let y'all know that y'all loved. You feel me, Ash? I'm getting sleepy, but, uh, God, thank you so much, Lord God. We have 142 people right now in this live, Lord God. We got 142 people watching, and a lot of them aren't speaking, Lord God, but you know they aren't. They don't have to speak, Lord God. Whatever's on their spirit right now that needed to hear, whatever's on their spirit right now that they needed to hear, let them know that it was from you, Lord God. It wasn't me. I'm just a vessel of what you want me to say and how you want me to say it. So, anybody who's not speaking and everybody who is speaking, Lord God, let them be blessed, Lord God. You said the burden was never yours to begin with. So, I want to say thank you for always being there. Even when family, friends, and foes wasn't, Lord God, you never let us down. Lord God, I ask you right now to touch Tiffany to let her know not to give up, Lord God, that you have something greater. And you might not come when you want to, but you're going to always be on time. Anybody in the chat that's that's going through something right now, Lord God, I, I, I just want to cast their burdens on you on behalf of them to let you know, Lord, that you told us the burden was never yours. So whatever burden they're going through right now, Lord God, I will take their responsibility and I will throw it to you so you can let them get a good night's rest tonight, Lord God. Let them be free. Let them be so mentally free, Lord God, that they forget that the burdens even started. Because I know it is only you that can come in right now into this room and touch all 152 of us to let us know that it was already done before we was worried about it. And we ain't even worried about nothing, Lord God. Relax anybody. Relax everybody, Lord God. And give them the strength to get through tomorrow. Give them the strength to get through tonight. Just let them have a good, peaceful night. And let us all get some rest tonight, Lord God, because we're casting our burdens on you right now. And we just want to say thank you for what you're about to do, Lord God. I want to say even more thank you for what you've already done. Because what you've done is already enough. And if I had a thousand sons, I just couldn't thank you enough. 
So I want to say thank you for what you've done. And if you don't do nothing else, Lord God, man, you've already done everything. But I know you're about to do more. So all of us that are watching you right now, Lord God, do what you do. We trust it. So we want to say thank you. In your name, I pray. Amen. Life is great. You feel me? You got to channel your energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, and I don't, I'm not a person to say like, oh, well, you should believe in God or you should believe in this. Whatever spirit you believe in, God, whatever spirit you believe in, I'm going to still love you because it's, life is about love. But whoever you talk to, whether it's, I'm going to talk to God. And if you don't talk to God, that's okay. I'm not going to judge you. But at the same time, you need to talk to somebody to let them know how you're feeling and get that off your chest. You got to get that off your chest. But me, I love y'all. I just took that down PM and over here got sleeping. <laughs> Well, I wrap my lip right now like that. Look how I wrap my lip. <laughs> but, y'all gonna be okay. Like, my wish for you tonight, my wish for you every night, is to get some rest tonight. It's 12 o'clock right now. It's 12 o'clock where I am. You can't get nothing. You Nothing can be done tonight. Nothing. Nothing. Whatever bill you worried about, your husband, your wife, whatever you worried about right now, can't nothing be done. The only thing you would do is pray and get you some rest tonight and just go to sleep peacefully and don't take to today until tomorrow. Don't. I love y'all. Just know that so much. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just, y'all just feel so calm. Like, even when it ain't working out, it's working out. Even when it ain't working out, it's working out. It's working for my good. You might not understand it right now, but I, I promise you in six months, you're going to be like, I see why I see why you did that. I see why I made that decision. I see. You're just going to see it. And, and I feel like I'm my best when I speak from the spirit. You can tell. I'm just my best when I speak from the spirit. But have a good night. As you lay your head down tonight, I know it's better said than done. But get some rest. Get some rest. Like, 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 really, really get some rest. Cause you are not your mistakes. And the world gonna try to crucify you. You're gonna lose friends. You are. You're gonna lose friends. They're gonna judge you. The world gonna try to crucify you for your mistakes. Baby, as long as you love you. And that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. We done been on this mug over an hour. We done been to, we done been in Puerto Rico lit, yeah, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta go to the beginning and see this here. <laughs> Rache, I love you more, man. But I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I don't know. Maybe we should make this an every night thing. I like being in Puerto Rico. Like I like vibing with y'all. You feel me? Thank you, Jazzy. Jez Thank you. I think I'm gonna subscribe. Thank you. Pray before you lay down and get some rest. Okay? You gonna be straight. I gotta stop picking everything. I love y'all for real. Love you. Oh my lord.